Yes, sir, I have. Uh, formal. Oh, it was great, you know, talking about my home state, um, just talking some ball, talking some, you know, background stuff. It went really well. That would be awesome. Um, be a really cool experience, especially being back down there. Um, you know, I'd definitely love to do that. Um, the meeting process has been good. Um, you know, I think it's easy to talk about, you know, background, talk about football, talk about all those things. Um, I think the biggest thing I've just been trying to sell is, is really my intangibles, what I'm able to do, you know, off the field, in the locker room, how I'm able to elevate the people around me, uh, which is something that I take a lot of pride in. Yep. Uh, South Florida football, I don't think you can beat it. I think the, the talent level, um, you know, I think there's some, some – lacks in discipline and stuff like that, but the talent level is just unmatched. Um, so being able to compete at that level and, you know, having that, that level of competition and talent around me was something that really, you know, prepared me for the next level. What was that? Uh, yes, I have met with the Broncos a couple times. Um, yeah, it'd be awesome. You know, just seeing, you know, how he is as a coach when, when he was with the Saints. I, I loved watching the Saints growing up. Drew Brees was one of my favorite quarterbacks to, to watch. Um, so, you know, to fit into that offense and, you know, know some people over there. So it'd be really cool. What was that? Um, I think it's something that played into what I've been, you know, training the past couple of weeks just with footwork and, you know, staying in my base, um, you know, something that I've been working a lot with my quarterback coach and trainer. Um, so just kind of, you know, making those little things mus muscle memory and continuing to, you know, grow and get better with that. Um, I might have had an informal with them. I'm not sure. I didn't, I didn't have a formal, though. Uh, informal. Yes, sir. Yeah, um, I, might, I think I did an informal with them, um, but yeah, it'd be, be great to play with a you know quarterback like that to, to learn from and kind of you know learn the ropes. Um, so see what happens. Yeah, it feels great, um, you know, especially the, the span we've had in the past couple of years and, you know, having Dorian and Tajay, um, you know, really set the stage uh, for Tulane, you know, take a lot of pride in that, you know, what we've built Tulane into being, um, you know, we've had really awesome people in the program. Co Coach Fritz did a really awesome job there, um, you know, so something that we also want to keep going in the future. I think they got a, a really bright future ahead of them and, you know, with, um, you know, what they're doing there now is going to be really great. Yeah, um, you know, I think South Florida's got some of the best talent in the country, um, you know, so just playing at that high level and a lot of competition. And then that was one of the bigger reasons that I, I went to Deerfield was to compete at a higher level and, like I said, prepare for the next level, you know, being in college. So I think, you know, getting to be in that atmosphere and, you know, that level of football and that level of competition day in and day out, you know, who you're competing with, who you're competing against was something that definitely, you know, translated going into the, you know, college level. Yo, Keith Brown, he's awesome. He's an awesome dude. Um, you know, always got a smile on his face. Heck of a ball player. You know, runs great routes really fast. Um, you know, he's still a young guy. So, you know, really excited to see what he's going to be able to do this year for Tulane. Mike, uh, Michael Penix was talking about his meeting with the Broncos. He said it was different because they were showing him a lot of his bad plays and asking him to comment on that. Have you Yeah, absolutely. I mean, teams want to see your, your thought process, what was going through your mind, why you made the decision you made. Um, you know, they want to see what the protection was. If you're in charge of, you know, calling protections, you know, getting it, you know, sent to the right guy, making sure you're not hot, knowing where your hots are. You know, so there's a lot more that goes into it, you know, playing quarterback than just seeing a bad play. So. Yes, yes, informal. Say that one more time. 
Yeah, Jaquan, he's a heck of a ball player, um, really great speed. He's, he's also huge on special teams, so I think that's something that's definitely going to help him, you know, going to the next level at all. Um, really high character dude, you know, just loves the game of football, um, you know, loves his teammates, um, you know, so I'm really excited to see what he's going to do. Main traits. Um, I think I think consistency is one of the biggest things. Um, you know, being smart with the football. You know, taking what's there. Um, you know, I think that's something that that's going to translate into the next level. Is you know, windows are going to get smaller. You're going to have to you know, be a lot more patient with stuff. You're going to have to be a lot smarter with the ball. So I think you know, going from college to that and already kind of having those traits is something that's going to be beneficial for me. Um, I think I had an informal with them, but not a formal. Say that one. Like, yeah. Um, well, we had that at the Senior Bowl. Um, it was actually really cool. I loved it. So, um, just you know, being able to hear the play from the coach. Um, you know, it was a little different. We had a, a couple different ways where we got our play in. Um, you know, being in college, but you know, being able to address a huddle. You know, every play and getting the play in and having to relay that back to the offense is something that you know I think is you know pretty cool. How Tulane helped me, um, you know. I think one of the biggest things is, you know, who you are as a person. Coach Fritz did a really awesome job of bringing great people into that program and really creating a culture. Um, and you know, everybody at this level is really talented, but it's kind of the intangibles that keep you around and you know put you to the next level. Um, so I think you know, just kind of polishing those things and establishing that of who I am as a person and, you know, how I can help my teammates, no matter what my role is, how I can elevate the people around me, be an asset to the locker room or things that I think are sometimes overlooked at this level because everybody is really talented. Like the specific play call? Um, I mean, I think pure progression reads. We have our, you know, laser add, H climb, X pearl, um, Roger. We've got our Ray Hulk off add, Buckeye hot Roger. You know, we've got pure progression reads with options. Uh, we've got pick aside leverage plays, um, something that's big in the NFL. Um, My best play in a specific game, like recall from this past year, my my best play, um, it was probably one of my throws against Rice, one of my touchdowns. To someone asked about Yule Keith Brown, um, it was crisscross, which is a basically it's a top down read um, where both sides are running an over route. We'll alert one side if it's man, uh, if it's zone, we'll go top down from the over to the back and um, play action. Came around, you know, had some pressure, had to drift and throw it off my back foot about 45 yards down the field. Two lanes? Um, not necessarily. I think we've we've proved what we were capable of in the past couple of years. Um, it's also the offense has changed. I've had a different OC, you know, all four years that I've been there. So I think, you know, what we've been able to do in the past few years and continue to, to build up has been, you know, good. Uh, I think the biggest thing is the culture he's going to establish. Um, you know, I think, you know, Houston will be great for him just because of the recruiting. Um, you know, he's a really good recruiter. Uh, he brings really awesome people into the program. That's something that, you know, I always talk about when I talk about Coach Fritz is, you know, how blessed and fortunate we were to have such high character people. Um, you know, he didn't really care how talented you were. If you were going to be an issue in the locker room, be an issue outside of the football facility, then he wasn't going to bring you into the program. So we had very little issues regarding those type of things um, and, you know, had really good guys in the program. So I think that's the biggest thing is he's going to build culture in there and really help that, that program grow. Mike, you got a favorite restaurant in New Ooh, favorite restaurant. That's tough to say a favorite. Um, Giacomo's might be up there with one of them. I love Drago's. I know that's like a chain, but best oysters, um, superior seafood. There's, you can't go wrong with anything. So. Mike, tell us a little bit about your experience at the Bowl. Yeah, it was awesome. You know, just getting to be there with the, the level of competition, um, you know, being 
you know, around the best guys in the country. You know, it's basically the biggest all-star game there is. Um, so, you know, very blessed and fortunate to be able to have that experience and, you know, go there and try to capitalize on it. Um, you know, it was really great to be around, you know, a lot of coaches as well, you know, a lot of information that you can and knowledge that you can gain from that. Um, and then also building relationships with all the guys was something that was really cool. Say that one more time. How do planes fly? Uh, engine. Do I think birds are real? Yeah, I do. <laughs> what was that? When am I coming to Jersey? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I might be up there to train a little bit before pro day. Yeah, so we'll see. Yes, sir. Sounds good. <laughs> Uh huh. Yes, sir. Yeah, I think there's there's definitely the you know benefits and negatives to having a different offensive coordinator every single year. Um, you know, I think one of the things that's really you know beneficial from it is learning from multiple different coaches. There's a, a lot of different knowledge that you can take from that. Um, you know, also having to stay on your your toes, kind of you know continuously learning the game of football. Um, but you just learn so much more from different people, um, different perspectives. Um, you know, it was something that was really beneficial for me. I think the, the negative of it is you can never really get to the point where you're really perfecting every part of your game. You know, so every January when I'm coming back after the season, you know, I'm spending a lot of time learning the new formations, learning the new concepts. You know, I can't really master everything that I want to master. Um, and then also, you know, every quarterback coach, you know, they want, might want to a rhythm three on this concept. The other coach might want a quick three, you know, a one drag, you know, there's different things. So just creating that muscle memory in your head and then having to switch it every year is something that was a little difficult. Yeah, just a really reliable guy, um, you know, a guy that, you know, had great, great chemistry with, um, threw him a touchdown in my first game you know, first college game playing. Um, so go way back with him. Um, you know, like I said, reliable. You know where he's going to be. Great speed, great ball skills, really smart player, like loves the game of football and knows the game of football really, really well. Um, so definitely a, a down the field threat, runs great routes. Um, you know, intermediate threat. You know, he's very versatile, can do a lot of things. And then, you know, I think the most special thing about him is what he can do with his football and you know, the football in his hands. Um, so, you know, just getting him the ball and then letting him work is something that's really fun to watch. And then his special teams ability is something that's going to, you know, continue to drive him and, and be really successful. Awesome. Thank you all.